Ah, my so, favorite nephews. You knuckle bumps want to hear a story? We do, we do. You don't have any dishes to wash or anything? I don't like being interrupted once I get started. No. Uh -uh. All right. My grandpappy Gunthrow Butkin grew up in Razzers. Was he a pirate? What? No. Anyway, he told me this tale when I was a lad. He became known as one of the greatest dungeon exterminators in the land. This is a tale of adventure, war, intrigue, mystery, and stupidity. What about roaches? What's that? Roaches are cool. Sure, and tasty. So, Gunthrow was returning from a job clearing out old Carbuncle's dungeon. Wait, I never heard of Carbuncle. Did he live here in Dugandy? No, of course he didn't live here. As I said, Gunthrow was traveling to the Glum Cove. Hey, that looks like old Rarsus, the King of Razarus. Who is that with him? Someone in a Twainan officer's uniform? Looks like it might be the Twainan captain himself. Eek! I ain't seen nothing here. Flamin' for Gunda. He's killed the king. Quick! You've got to help! The king's been murdered! That's terrible! I wish I could help, but our forces here are weak! Even the walls of the town are so weak you could smash them with your sword! Have you tried asking the court for help? Hey, this must be where the king stayed when he came to visit this part of Rasmus. I only take passengers on official Razorin. Oof. Oof. Here to see the court, are you? No way you're getting in, fella. Think they're wasting their time with any old fool? It's urgent. The king's been killed. Ha! Huh. I've heard better. Pull the other one, buddy. I suppose next you'll tell me we're on the verge of an international incident. Nothing you say is gonna convince me to open this door. Hmm. This is no... Hey there, chum. If you want in to see the call, try this way. It's a bit more work, but probably your only option. Gunthro had no problem opening the yellow doors barring his way to the court by using the orbs. Of course, Gunthro realized that as well as opening yellow doors, orbs could close them too, or even toggle between opening doors. Gunthrow, being a professional, could skip diagonally over and through small gaps. What do you mean, being a professional? I can do that, and I'm just a kid. Alf, I'm not gonna lie to you. You'd be surprised how many people have a hard time managing that. Just like yours truly, Gunthrow was experienced at clearing out dungeons. He knew exactly how to deal with the common dungeon roach. One swipe of the sword was all it took. Was he a good cook like you? Nah. He lived off of Roach Jerby. <coughs> Gunthrow had come across a green door. These couldn't be opened by hitting an orb. Oh no! They'd only open if the room was clear of all monsters. <coughs> Just like I said. Wow! <coughs> <coughs> 
orbs under a bit of disrepair. Gunthro had reached the Razoran court, but he was surprised by their reception. Welcome, visitor, to the court of Razorus. I have important news. All messengers shall be listened to with care. You wish to be heard? You have come to the right place. Fine. I have important news. We are news. listening with the utmost respect to your every word. But then let me tell you my important news about... We see. Very interesting. But I haven't said anything yet. Oh, you've given us more than enough to think about. Our actions regarding this matter shall be swift and potent. But I'm sure you will see favorable results quite soon. The king was murdered by the Duane and Captain. Oh! Oh, what to do? Listen, don't tell anyone, but we're not really the decision makers around here. We're just here to make people think they're being listened to. You had better go to the east to find the true court. They will know what to do with your new... Gunthrow's way was blocked by a series of force arrows, all pointing in different directions. He knew full well that, try as he might, he'd never be able to walk in the opposite direction to the way the arrow was pointing. Luckily for him, roaches and other monsters had to obey the same rules. spotted some blue gates on the edge of the room. Mm. 
Experienced Smite Master, Benthro knew that a two wide line of roaches was no problem for the sword swinging. the older parts of the court areas were falling into disrepair. Some of the walls were even crumbling to dust to be toppled by the sword swing. A lovely flower. I will stay here and admire it.
Hi, let me out of here. Clear out those vermin. me out by killing those roaches. I don't see no roaches. Oh, those roaches. Uh, now I see them. 
I'm afraid you have reached a dead end. There is absolutely... Hey! And who are you? I'm Gundrel Budkin. Sounds familiar. I'm a third generation dungeon exterminator. Ah, you're a swordsman. Good. I bring important news. We'll be the judge of that. The king was murdered! <gasps> the... Oh. It looked like a Twainan officer to me. Maybe even the captain. Of course. The king was to meet with the head of the Twainan army today to discuss trade via smuggler's maze. Using the opportunity to attack the king is definitely something the Twainans would do. Those nasty, untrustworthy Twainans. We could use your help, uh, Grunter. Gunthrow Budkin, sir. Gunthrow Budkin. Traverse the regions around Glum Cove and find the Razarin leaders. Certainly. But where will I find them? And what will I say? Don't be feeble. You'll find them in their places, you'll say what needs to be said, and the leaders will know what needs doing. You'll pay me? Of course, of course. Then I'm your man. Now go and do your work. Oof. 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 Take this letter of passage, Gunthro. Give it to the ferryman to travel around Blum Cove and find the leaders. Now to get back outside and find that boatman. Ugh. 
Coleman seems to have settled down somewhere nearby in the Skondusk marshes. Gunthrow didn't want to risk dipping his feet into the filthy, deep, and murky waters of the Skondusk marshes. Luckily, there were rafts nearby which he could paddle.
Whoa. Whoa. Throw. I just wanted to be left alone. Marin, there is war with the Twainans. You must join us in this fight. And what's wrong with the Twainans anyhow? They have already taken action against Razorus. We must fight back. I just wanted one simple thing. Place warm and safe to call home. <sighs> well, if I must. It took me a long time to find this comfortable, peaceful place. Sorry. Duty calls, Marin. Fine, fine. I'll get ready for the trip to Twaino. At least it'll be warmer there. <gasps> Frostbird, but you shouldn't go in. Help us, Gunthrow! Two enemies have over. An interloper. Charge, men! Charge for honor! Charge for bravery! Charge and never stop charging! Gunthrow had heard of the prowess. Uh, they were experts with their swords. Uh, they would find their way past any obstacle to reach their target. Hey, that's like you and a hot roast burger. Oh. Yeah. Like that, I guess. Ah! 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 Bravery. Hit that orb and we'll fight. I need you to help me with something first. 